Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enkit. Today we're looking at Rantools. Rantools is an all-in-one add-on made available by Amandeep. The idea for Rantools is to get random tools that you probably need in Blender in one easy to use package. So the beautiful thing is Amandeep is doing a thank you 20% off for those who like to get these owing to the fact that Rantools collectively have gotten to a thousand downloads on both Blender Market and Gumroad. So for those who like to get this right now, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this for yourself. And with that said, let's explore some of the things that you can do in Rantool. So with Blender simply open right here, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. One thing to mention before we get started is Rantools definitely has a couple of shortcuts that can help you work faster. But regardless of that, you can also tap in on the keyboard and right over here, you would notice that we have RAN tools and there's a couple of categories or tool sets that are sort of tied to what you can do. So we have the curve tools, the camera tools, we have the random tools, we also have the material tools, the light tools, and also the big tools. So all of these are right here and you can simply go ahead and explore these things. Now today we're going to scratch the surface of certain things that you can do with this. And to get started, if we hold on shift and tap Q on the keyboard, you would notice that we have a pie menu. There's a couple of pie menus that exist here. So if you hold on shift on the keyboard and press W, you'd also notice we have another pie menu, shift on the keyboard and E, there's also another pie menu. So these pie menus are there to help you work faster, else you can simply rely on the end panel to get these things to work. The very first thing which we're going to explore is the Boolean tools that exist here. So if we hold on shift and tap Q on the keyboard and we go over to the section called draw, you would notice that we have a set of meshes that we can use to create boolean. So the very first one which we explore is this, that if you hold on control on top of the mesh, you can click and drag. And once you're ready, if you move your mouse, you can simply boolean this, all right? This looks cool. So you can simply boolean this and that's okay. Let's do that one more time. Click and drag. We can also, let's actually do that here. You can also boolean this. If you also want to intersect it of course you can simply press i on the keyboard and you can intersect insert this by pressing c on the keyboard slice this by pressing s on the keyboard union this by pressing u on the keyboard and also get a difference by pressing d using the cube geometry is not the only way that you can do this you can of course go in and also boolean based off other geometries like so so for example if you tap c on the keyboard and you hold on control and click and drag you can use the circle this goes for every other geometry that exists there now let's make a copy of this geometry, or actually let's go in and make another geometry right here. Now the second thing which we're going to explore is the cables. So if you would like to create cables, it's pretty easy to do that with this tool. As you can simply click on the word create, hold down control and snap to a surface, click to get that there, hold down control and snap to another surface, click to get that there, and you have your cables. If you'd like to increase the radius, tap R on the keyboard, move your mouse left or right. If you like to play with the tension, Press T on the keyboard, move your mouse left and right. And of course, you can also play with the tension like so. If you also want to extrude this, or maybe you want to tilt it, you can also proceed to do all of this. Thing. But at the same time, the curve tool or the cable tool also has its own menu. If you hold on shift and press E on the keyboard and probably want to create like multiple wires, you can. So in this case, I'm just going to go in and roll the middle mouse and you can notice that we're creating multiple wires. And if I press V on the keyboard and roll my mouse, we can proceed to twist this. So let's get closer and you can see what we've got. If you would like to simulate this, by all means, you can also proceed to simulate this. And these are just set of tools that you can also find within the curve section of the RAN tools. So once you're working with RAN tools and potentially you're into product visualization or you're into rendering, and you're looking for some cool backdrop that you can use to quickly create good renders, then you might want to consider taking a look at this. So if I move this model all the way up, let's say this is our masterpiece, and we would like to get some backdrops. How we can do that is simple. Tap U on the keyboard, and you can filter through the backdrops that exist. Actually, let's cancel this and zoom all the way back. Yeah, so if you have this object selected, you press U on the keyboard, you can filter through the backdrops that exist. And once you're comfortable with the backdrop you want to go with, you can click to let go. And once you move your mouse left or right, you can play with a bevel. So I'm just gonna let this bevel be like so, and that easy, you've created a backdrop. Now, in most cases, after creating a backdrop, the next logical thing to do is to create some good light. And how to create light here is also very easy. Let's get rid of this light. 
and jump right here so you guys can see that we have no light. So how you can create lights here is also very, very easy. Actually, we should stay in this mode and select the monkey. And then if we press L on the keyboard, we can get light and we can cycle through the light types that exist here and get the fun and the best one for us. So you can mix two lights together depending on what you want to go for. In this case, I can let this light be, select the model, press L on the keyboard as well, and I can filter and select these are the lights. Now, once you click to let go, if you move your mouse left or right, you can increase or reduce the intensity of the light. And this is also very cool. And to all of the lights that you have, if you like to make adjustments to them, you can go over to the light properties and you can see all of them here and you can adjust them to your heart's content. And adjusting the lights is not the only thing that you can do with run tools. You can also adjust the camera. So before we get into adjusting the camera, let's position our camera properly. So I'm pressing zero on the keyboard to jump into the camera view. I'm going to lock this to this particular view, press the home key to jump in, and I'll position this camera right here. So once you have this going, if you like to make changes to your camera, you can simply do this by holding down Alt on the keyboard and pressing C. And from here, you can start doing anything that you want. You want to get depth of field, tap D on the keyboard to activate depth of field. And you can also change the focus. So since we have just two objects within our scene, if we press F on the keyboard, you notice automatically our focus changes. If I go ahead and press F on the keyboard one more time, automatically it will also figure out and change the focus back to the monkey one more time. If you like to play with the aspect ratio, all you need to do is to roll your middle mouse button and you can get the perfect aspect ratio that you're going for. And once you're ready, click to let go, position your model, and then you can proceed to fire up the rendering. So say for example, you like to get some materials in here with texture. And to do this is also very, very easy. Hold down shift on the keyboard, press Q and go all the way to your library. And within the library, you can search for different materials. Let's say for example, we're looking for wood, which I think would be cool. And we'll press the enter button. It's going to go through the offline repository and also the online repository. Now the online repository that this add-on actually uses is the ambient CG free textures that exist. So you can search through these free textures and find something that works. If I would like to use this, I can click and then click on the resolution type that I would like to get. So if I would like to get this resolution, I can click on 1K to get this resolution in and automatically it's going to download this texture and apply it to the model. And the very same thing applies to HDRIs. If there are certain HDRIs you like to get, you can simply hold on Alt and tap N on the keyboard and search through the HDRIs that exist within the poly heaven. Now, any HDRI that you like to work with, you can simply select that and you can load that within your scene and use this to create some amazing stuff. There's also a whole lot of other tools that exist with run tools and we definitely can't cover all of them, but just to give you guys a glimpse, there is a whole lot of tools that include cloth tool, which you can use to create cloth. So in this case, if you have an object, you can simply remesh the objects for cloth and then you can proceed to create cloth with it. And this is pretty neat and it's very quick as well. I'm also gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So let's get rid of that. Another beautiful thing that you can do is think about trying to create a tube. So if you'd like to create a tube, you need to go over, create a cylinder and select a couple of faces like that, delete those faces and then begin to extrude. And that is just something you don't want to do all the time. But with run tools, you can simply click to create a tube and you have that with all the necessary parameters to work with the tube from here. If you're also thinking about tapering stuff, you can go ahead and taper stuff. For example, if we have the simple box here and we'd like to taper it, we can just simply taper this however we want. So you have all of the flexibilities and at certain instances, if you like to slice stuff, you can simply click, use the slice panel and you can just go ahead and slice this however you want. So you don't necessarily need to start fiddling with the modifiers, trying to get the things to work. You can easily do this. At any point in time, you like to bake the modifiers to what you've just done. If you tap E on the keyboard with the object selected, you can proceed to apply the modifiers. So that way you can apply the modifiers and get rid of all the unnecessary overlays that exist with it. And you have what you want from here. If you like to play with the P cutter and explore some of the cool things that you can do with it, you can also do that. So remember the last time we said, if you click on draw, you can proceed to just draw some stuff. So let's say we draw this and push this all the way down. 
There is also this beautiful thing which includes creating radio arrays. So if I tap R on the keyboard, we can create radio arrays and you can use this to create some very interesting art piece. So let's say you like to create stuff like that, play with the thickness, and that way you can create something like this. So depending on what you like to make, you're definitely going to find this tool a worthy one to take a look at. So this is more like it. There are tons of stuff that you can do with RAM tools and it's just crazy the amount of random tools and incredible things that exist with RAM tools at this point. Amandeep is continually updating this as we have version 3 He's also promising that more versions and more updates are coming over to RAM tools. So for those who like to get this and also get it for 20% off at this point, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download RAM tools and start working with it and use the coupon thank you within checkout to get that 20% off for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this. You can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.